It's a new beginning for Mali. Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, or IBK as he is popularly known, takes the reins of the West African nation. His 16.3 million residents look forward to rebuilding the country. Leaders from neighboring Côte d'Ivoire, Morocco and Chad are among the 26 heads of state attending the much-anticipated inauguration, as well as French President Francois Hollande. Hollande is held in high regard by Malians. This mainly after France sent troops in January to help the military fight off an Islamist insurgency in the north. Cater's landslide election victory in August was seen as pivotal to helping the West African nation regain stability. The country is attempting to recover from a military coup last year, followed by 18 months of political crisis. Kata has pledged to create a strong and impartial state that will bring together all Malians. My message to the president is for him to put an end to land grabbing, to put an end to politicians who take advantage of Malian people, to put an end to theft and corruption in our country. Despite the country's recent setbacks, Malians from around the country are in solidarity. Artists from the north of the country, made up of traditional singers, poets and young rappers, put together their messages of peace, reconciliation and rebuilding with an aim of unifying the country as IBK takes power. This is the way to communicate for the young generation, so we try to modernize a little with the modern rap tradition. The rhythm is modern, but it's on a traditional music theme. We chose this to try and push our message through in a positive and more concrete manner. Like many of their countrymen, some of these musicians from northern Mali were targeted by hardline Islamists bent on imposing Sharia or strict Islamic law. Concerts were banned in northern cities, clubs closed, instruments smashed and burned, musicians harassed and forced to flee. But the success of the recent elections restored hope that Malians can once again live freely. Maria Galang, CCTV.